Good morning, folks. It appears we aren't the only ones taking notice of how Venus delivers a beautiful evening sky. That is President Obama admiring with good reason. Vancouver Island, Canada, she was a rockin' yesterday, actually had two moderately large quakes about an hour apart, followed up by an even bigger one this morning, just a little bit ago. There was also some curious seismicity south of Madagascar. This is a well-written story about why the western U.S. could have elevated fire danger and drought this summer. This article is more for those like me hoping there are some benign little green men out there. Hey folks, welcome to Earth. Lastly, on the news side, that trio of astronauts headed home from the ISS did make it home safe and sound. So, where's this CME that was supposed to be hitting? Well, this is the eruption, that tiny one in the center of the sun from a few days ago. What you can also see is a dark region above it. It's a coronal hole. It has had our solar wind speed elevated for four straight days since it struck back on the 24th. Perhaps the coronal hole stream is what swept up the CME. If anything, any kind of impact, we see a slight perturbation in the yellow and orange around 1800 moving through the new day. Up at the top you see the red go a bit crazy, that's the BZ tipping south, meaning a little magnetic disturbance. On the induction magnetometer you can see a brief broadband resonance that only seems to be gone now. Uh, watch today, that resonance might return. At the exact same time of that spike, we have a simultaneous spike in ionospheric absorption of cosmic radiation. So. Who knows, maybe it hit, maybe it didn't. All I know is the solar wind speed has been high for three straight days. NOAA has 11465, labeled as Beta Gamma Delta. This is correct. You can see the red and blue uh, duking it out there inside the penumbral region. But it hasn't really lived up to its name. In fact, his little sister up north there above it has been the active one. Even Tony Phillips gave only a brief mention to the Beta Gamma Delta spot, turning his focus towards the new spots emerging on the southeastern limb. I was analyzing this yesterday with MR2 and Stone Clark as it emerged, and this morning our observation of complex morphology is even more evident. These mean-looking spots have had a weak bite lately, but this one presents enough danger to affect a moderate solar watch in the coming days. Lastly, folks, the dark feature here is another coronal hole that will hit us with a strong solar wind speed in the next coming days. Plasma filament just below it, pointed right at Earth. That's the news, folks. Be safe.